so many of us do uh, video work from home. I do video work from home. My wife does video work from home. Um, and, you know, it's it's just seemed to be more and more of the norm. So, you know, you kind of need a webcam. You need decent speakers. You need uh, a, a microphone, et cetera, et cetera. And maybe not as much home base, but I know for us, we do do this home base once in a while. Sometimes there can be multiple, multiple of us on a call. But if you're someone that works in a environment where you're having like a board meeting or a staff meeting or something like that that's being broadcasted uh, we have we have a product here that that could be pretty cool oh yeah okay so this 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 is it i got my computer over here it is too big for the screen so i just kind of fit it as well as I can right there. It's the eMeet meeting capsule and I have it up online on their their website eMeet. Uh, it's a red dot winner of 2022. That's cool. Um, it's not inexpensive for sure. So if you're looking at something like this for the home, just realize you, you we want to make sure you have a budget for it. But if you're using this for work because you have do conference meetings and things like that, uh, this this may be really cool. So 360 degree video conference camera. Already, I'm like, oh, I like 360 stuff. Eight mics, hi-fi speaker. Right now, 22 reviews, five stars. Uh, it says, includes everyone. So you just put this in the center of your table. Uh, 360 degree panoramic, 1080p HD camera, eight mics, 90 dB hi-fi speaker. So that sounds like it should be fairly loud. AI powered autofocus, intelligent multimodal algorithm autofocuses on active talkers. So supposedly what happens is it knows who's talking in the room as long as I guess a whole bunch of you aren't talking. You know how if you go into like a, a Zoom or Meet or something like that, even if you have a bunch of people on the screen and the one person that's talking, you can set it up so that person gets shown on screen. My guess is it uses technology similar to that. So that's the person that it kind of focuses on which is cool. Uh, optimized voice pickup, plug and play, smart coverage. Uh, extend coverage from 18 feet to 36 feet when daisy chained with our signature speakerphone. And they do have a package that you can get that comes with a little, little speakerphone if you are, you'll see it down here, right? Meeting capsule plus M3, which maybe, you know, it's, it's only a little bit more, 679 down to 639. So for, what is that, 40 bucks? That's, that's all right. Um, gives you a, some ideas here. It's, and it's, it, it looks like it's like, it's hefty for sure. Optimized 360 audio video coverage, right? I do like the fact that you just put this kind of in the center. You'll see it here. And it's like zooming into the, the person. We will go upstairs and test this. We'll, we'll put this with me and my daughter, Harley and my wife, um, five modes, video modes for different scenarios, collaboration mode, speech mode, classic mode spotlight mode private mode to see the entire room yeah no it looks it looks very very cool convey clear well you guys can head on over to their website i'll put links below in the description if you're interested but it does say right google meet facetime oh it works with facetime really cisco webex google hangouts blue jeans go to meeting zoom teams skype mac os and windows Okay, I'm down. What is this? Oh, normally it's $800. It's a Black Friday deal. So uh, I'm going to try to get this out, hopefully, before Black Friday is here. Um, doesn't give me a lot of time. Maybe maybe you'll get it right on Black Friday. I'm not too sure. Um, if not, I apologize. You're going you're gonna to pay a little bit more. Anyways, this is the box, right? E-Meet meeting capsule. Now, this, this one here has... It's got like two little boxes. It's kind of, I don't know if you can notice that. I'll spin it that way, right? It's got like a box in a box. So all in one, powered by AI, one stop solution for hybrid meetings. Yep. Uh, you guys see what it says on this side? All in one. Yeah, same idea, five modes and kind of more of the same. And there's your, there's your five modes. I kind of have to spin it this way because it doesn't fit, right? Uh, I'm most interested in this collaboration mode right here. Speech mode. A speech mode would be cool too because I think it's just kind of back and forth. Classic mode has the two. Spotlight mode. Okay, I'm down. I'm 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 super down actually. I'm really curious about. I'm I'm, I'm not even sure 
like it's a it's a big box it is really a big box you know when you're looking at webcams and speakers you're not usually being like oh it'll be a huge a huge box i'm gonna put it like this you guys can you guys can kind of see it i don't know if there's a front or a back S spins nice though that's excellent ready the reveal it's packaged it's actually packaged very nicely look at that check that out right this i'm guessing when it's down like this it's kind of in like a privacy mode right and when it's up like that that one is when it would be i'll put it here right that is when it would be able to kind of detect everything because when it's down this way and if i can't tell if it feels like there's a motor if there's not just notch points in it uh on the side here Looks like you have a couple buttons, USB-C for charging, uh, you have a line in, you have uh, your power, and a lock. So if you, it looks like it's like your standard, like a Kensington style lock, and I think that's it. It also, you guys can see in the bottom, a tripod style mount on the bottom, and this kind of like got a nice, oops, I'm dropping stuff, kind of rubber base. It's not crazy sticky, but it's gonna, it's gonna help. And then you get a box, a box of accessories. That is sweet looking. I have to say, it's looks mean something, especially when you're in an office, right? You want it to be pretty. I'll move this over here because it's not. It's gonna just keep focusing on that. This is your your manual right here. It's a lovely manual, nice and big. Everything is legible. A couple different languages. Uh, I'll go through this. Yep, yeah. languages, languages, languages. And and really, when you look at it, you know what? One, two, three, four five, six, seven, it's like eight pages per language. So not too bad. I'm guessing this is probably like your warranty or something like that. What's in the box? Yep. Uh, that That's a long cable. USB-A to USB-C, which is great. You kind of just fire this wherever. I'm guessing um, this would go into a computer, of course, so that you can use FaceTime or Google Meet or Teams or whatever it is. And then there's your there's your power. There's your power. So I'm, I'm not gonna plug it into a computer yet. But I am going to plug it in to some power because I am curious as to if the if the top part here is motorized and then when you turn it on, it just does all its own flipping around and doing its stuff, right? I think that's... Are we on? Yeah, we got power. Okay, so as you can see here, this is our power. Click. Yes. And just so you guys see there's a little set of lights right there okay that's nice i'm guessing that's that's good and then oh did you see it the camera just spun around all by itself so do you have like modes ready i don't i don't know i don't know what's happening here what are the buttons there's like mute i'm looking at was red that's good there's a mute button click that it goes back this button here aha it's like 360 mode click it this must be like if you're just using it as like a traditional webcam you just it's just you it's just one-on-one -on -one. you you and you and the camera you just have it facing yourself but you're rocking 360 and you want everything ready you just hit that button sweet deal and then when you turn it off because of course there's there's a power button, right? There was a power button. I thought there was a power button. Is there a power button? What is this button? So the, the, the middle one here is like privacy. So it spins it around. You come out of privacy. <laughs> oh, me, li me like, me like. Um, now I'm just, I'm curious. I am curious. Does this have, a dot? no. Maybe Emi, nope, that's headphones. Do I have, does this have Bluetooth or anything like that? I don't know if it does. It probably, it probably doesn't. It's a lot of info to be moving around through like Bluetooth. So what we're gonna do is we are going to, uh, I'm gonna take this upstairs. We're gonna connect it to my MacBook. Uh, we're gonna do a screen record and uh, we're gonna turn on um, some of the features and uh, see how it works. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be kind of cool. All right, guys, so we have been playing with this. This right here, I'm gonna move it closer. There it is, there's the goodness. 
over the past few days um and i'm gonna i'm gonna be first to say it's actually really cool it's actually really cool now if you're looking for a web camera for like personal use um let's admit this is really expensive um and if you're just using it for a home and it's really just going to be you or maybe you know you and your spouse or something like that um then maybe just snuggle up closer to a traditional um webcam because you can you can get pretty wide webcams out there and and even like you can use like i'm using a sony zv1 right now you could use this as a webcam get a wide angle lens on it etc etc but uh there are some things uh that make this uh super cool uh, if you did want to spend the money uh and two if you are a business that does a lot of like boardroom style conference calls where you have a whole bunch of people now number number one number one um the speaker on here is fantastic i was just absolutely blown away uh, i'm gonna bring up just some music here this of course is non-copyrighted music uh, this should be playing through this speaker, I believe. So like, it's a, like it's really good. Like it's got really good low end. You know, it's, it's sound is from everywhere. It's a, like a 360 speaker. Uh, like, I've got nothing left. Yeah, like, it is so good. I was blown away by how good this little speaker. I don't want to say little speaker because it's actually, you know, quite, quite big. Um, my wife and I did uh, some video chatting uh, the other day uh, and it, it does have the different modes, right? So when you you are in uh, like single single person mode, and I'll put screenshots uh, or video recordings or screen recordings, I guess that I did previously. And I'll, uh, and if you are in, let's say, let's just say uh, we'll do FaceTime because I'm on a Mac and FaceTime's a big one. You'll see here. This is kind of how the screen shows up. You get you get this screen. So right now it's 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 saw me, and and it's kind of narrowed itself down to where it thinks I am. And what's kind of cool about it is um, once it kind of learns where you are and, and senses you, uh, if you move around a little bit, now it's not fast at kind of realigning itself, but it does it. You know, it, you'll see sometimes, I don't know if it'll do it here, but if I move around a little bit, because I'm in the 360 mode, it, it probably still sees me right here, but it, it, you'll see the actual framing sometimes kind of zoom in a little bit or pan over to the side or pan over to the side to kind of capture you and put you where you are and you'll see the bottom screen right there that's kind of the overall screen uh if you tap on this button on the side here which kind of goes through the modes so you kind of get the four main modes and then you kind of have the privacy right if you tap on that you'll see it zoomed in a little bit and you're going through just kind of different well, they're different modes, right? So collaboration mode versus this mode versus that mode. Um, if you go into your, this one, which is just kind of your webcam mode, this actually, and it's crazy wide. Like it's like, you can see my leg right in here, which is nuts. And you can see, you can see a bike over here, which it, it shouldn't, it just shouldn't be able to see, but it, but it's there. Now, if you want to kind of zoom in a little bit and get a bit closer, then you just kind of tap on it again and you kind of go into that traditional like smartphone webcam -y type look, right? So you get this, it's still wide, right? It's really tall, which is super good, cool. And then you can kind of pop out of this and go into this mode if you want. And you'll see that I'm kind of off to the side. And if we were to just kind of hang out a little bit here you will see it center itself so it will go in and center i think if i tap this again yeah you get that little bit of a zoom in right there you can also kind of see the bottom because it it doesn't really it just it just sees everything you know which is it is a little weird because if you're out really far you want to be fairly close if you're out really far you get really skewed on the bottom like my hand my hands look really weird but that's that's 360 so if you 
you've ever played with 360 footage, you know it's 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 a it's fairly computational, I guess is a good word, so that it's doing a lot of effects and a lot of things, magic in the background, right? Now, yesterday, my wife and I kind of sat at the table because we wanted to see actually how it worked in regards to having multiple people, because really that's the main uh, premise of using something like this, right, is for boardroom meetings and for those of us that are using uh, or we're going to be doing video meetings and chats and whatever, and we have a bunch of people here. So uh, we use both Zoom and Google Meet, I guess it is, Google Meet. And yeah, it, it was actually really neat how it split up, split up the screen um, so that it showed it. It looks like there's multiple webcams going on, but it's actually just the one. So it, it, it found me, it found my wife. Uh, it actually... It actually, which was kind of kind of interesting, we had it set up and it was recording and uh, well, screen recording, and she was she was like, "Yeah, I'm done. I got to go back to work." And I'm like, "Okay." So she was sitting across from me over here, and we were just had it setting up kind of where it is right now. And then she got up and she moved over to the computer desk, which you can see it here. Maybe uh, if I I wish I could just manually move this, which you can't. But I'll, I'll turn this back into the other mode so that you can kind of see it here, right? So if it was here and we turned, you can kind of see it there in the corner. So she went to go sit over there and it, it, it followed her over there. It was like, oh, she's shifting over there right now. And it actually just scaled over and, and caught her. Now, again, it wasn't really fast and it had a little bit of reaction time to it but it did it so i was like well that's that's kind of cool that's uh, actually really neat and her and i were kind of chatting back and forth and i was i was quite amazed so yeah we we had a chance to try it like i said we did it in facetime uh we did it in google meets we did it in uh zoom the, f the features work really really cool like it's it's probably one of the coolest i think boardroom type webcam slash speakers. Speakers are going to be crazy loud enough for a boardroom. Um, the ability for you to have, I don't even know how many people that it can kind of decipher and, and detect around the room, but super cool. My wife was actually saying that in their boardroom, they have just a single like webcam up at the front where the like the whiteboard is or whatever, and it shoots back. And it's really hard, she says, to kind of figure out because it's such a wide shot and everybody's kind of back there. She goes, sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out who's actually talking. And, you know, you just you don't feel part of it because it's just everybody's it's such just a, it's just a big wide shot. Right. Um, this kind of brings you, I think, into the meeting, especially if there's a bunch of you. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think I think, you know what, for a business uh, this this could be a really worthy investment uh, as a home user. Ah, it's 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 cool for sure. Like it's cool. The speaker is fantastic, and if you possibly have those uh, times where you think you could use it, maybe. But it, it's pricey at, at that point. I'd be like, get a get a really good camera and a really good set of speakers and sound bars and you're probably cheaper still um but i think i think for businesses and and uh those that are in a boardroom this this is a total win total win all right guys uh i'm gonna leave you there 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 were some sample shots here of uh it working and uh you guys can let me know in the comments below what you think all right guys Links to eMeet's website if you guys want to check it out because it is super cool. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the little notification bell. And I'm out. Later.